please settle down let us start today's maitri milan session with three rounds of omkaras inhale
दैवी प्रकृति माश्रिता shelter of my divine energy o partha no me lord krishna as the origin of all creation they engage in my devotion with their minds fixed exclusively on me suprabhatam shri guru bhyo namaha so in the previous two shlokas krishna paramatma criticizes people who stay put with limited or formed god like ganapati or like uh, hanuman and they think that is ultimate god he says that understanding is important initially but then one has to outgrow that understanding and find that ultimately the nature of god is para prakriti he has two natures the higher nature is the real nature para prakriti pure pure consciousness in the next shloka he heavily criticizes by saying people who do not understand this start acting based on what they already know what they think they think the source of this world is a source of permanent peace security happiness right and they start seeking things in the world by going and praying to god and asking for things in the world nothing is wrong one can do that but one should not try and see permanent peace security and happiness from that which can only give you impermanent peace security and happiness then the question comes what gives me permanent peace security and happiness and bhagwan says that is my original nature the original consciousness which is my true nature which is permanent and that becomes the source of permanent peace security and happiness right so in the previous two shlokas he criticizes people who stay thinking that whatever is impermanent will give me permanent not possible he says come to something that is permanent that is my real nature therefore in this shloka he is talking about people who are able to differentiate between what is permanent and what is impermanent and understand that impermanent things will give me only impermanent peace security and happiness don't expect permanent peace security and happiness and permanent alone will give me what is permanent peace security happiness that bhagwan is talking about those people and let us do the word split of this shloka mahatmanah to mam partha दैवीं प्रकृति आश्रिता भजती अनन्यमनस ज्ञावा भूतादि अव्यय सो हियर महात्मा इज टॉक्ट अबाउट पीपल हु रिसॉर्ट टू डूइंग देयर ड्यूटी रेग्युलरली राइट एंड are having satvika prakriti in the previous shloka asurim rakshasim and asurim was talked about rakshasim means rajoguna pradhana everybody knows the three guna right rajoguna pradhana where they are driven by passion desire rajoguna pradhana then rakshasim are tamoguna pradhana यर सत्वगुण प्रधान पुरुष इज टॉक्ट अबउट महात्मा सत्वगुण प्रधान पुरुष पीपल हूज मैंड इज प्योर क्लियर ऑफ ऑल दि इंप्यूरीटी लाइक राग अटैचमेंट द्वेष एट्रेट एंड ऑल दि अदर्स दट फॉलो रिटिवली देर मैंड इज प्योर एंड देर फोर दे ट्राई दे टेन टू सी थिंग्स एज दे आर they are highly objective that person is talked about as mahatmanah why two is used two is to con- to show the contrast 
that is there in the previous shloka. In the previous shloka, we are talking about people who are misguided. They are confused between what is permanent, what is impermanent, misguided. Therefore, that is the previous shloka. Here, Bhagavan has to show contrast, so he uses two. Maam Partha, me. Okay, me here is in the. When we say maam, here it means the real me. Okay, Partha, the real nature, para prakritihi. Daivim prakriti maashritaha. They do have sattva guna. Here, daivim prakriti means sattva guna pradhana purusha, the one who is dominated by sattva guna. So, sattvic guna is there in him. He understands what is real, what is what is permanent, what is temporary. And from permanent, he will expect permanent. From temporary, he will expect temporary. So, he understands that. Bhajanti. Bhajanti means he seeks. Ananya manasaha. He seeks completely single-mindedly. Ananya manasaha, single-mindedly he is seeking what? That which is permanent. And that which is permanent is my true nature. And that he is seeking. Nyatva, when he is seeking, he will understand that having known me, that is my real nature, as Bhuta Adim. Bhuta Adim means the cause, we have already seen, material cause of the entire world is Ishwara. He knows me as the material cause, that means he is beginningless. He is there from the beginning, there is no beginning for him in fact. He, even time is within him. So there is no beginning. And avyayam. Avyayam, there is no decline, there is no end. The ultimate meaning is there is no end. So beginningless, anand, uh, beginningless and endless. Anadi we call in Sanskritam and Ananta. And that is Bhagavan. That they seek knowing that that alone will give me permanent peace, security and happiness. So I'm giving a small example before we end this sloka's meaning. All of you are either into Ayurveda, Yoga, it's related to body, mind, our health. Let us say that we have a small occasion to chat with friends. But in the schedule, my time is to do Yogasana, Pranayama. Initially, when we do not value that this pranayama, yogasana is going to keep my body healthy. We value talking with the friends more. So we will skip yogasana, pranayama, talk with friends. But slowly we realize which is more permanent, that occasion which gives you happiness just at that point in time when you are chatting or your body which is going to remain healthy with the help of body, mind, sense complex, which is going to remain healthy with pranayama yoga, which you think is permanent? The latter. The one who understands which is more permanent, okay, will stand to get benefited. And what is the most permanent? Bhagavan is telling the most permanent is my real nature, which is paraprakriti, called pure consciousness. And that is what he wants to say in this. So he is talking about people who are able to make this differentiation. We call it as Nitya Anitya Vastu Viveka. What is permanent, what is impermanent. Don't expect imp a permanent peace, happiness from impermanent situations, objects, people, status. This is what is told in here. With this, thank you. Nams Guruji and Namaste everyone. You know, Prashanti Kutiram, we receive services from so many, many people. Some people take care of, you know, the cleanliness of the campus. Some people take care of many different, different aspects of our life. The most important aspect of our life, the health, is taken care by our Arogya Dhamma. They take, the, just like, you know, we talk about the integral system of education, they take, give us the integral system of health. 
any problem any of us have we immediately run to aragya dama and it is a flux which we can't continuously see in prashanti kutiram one of our very very efficient and dear doctor that uma shankar who has been serving the prashanti kutiram and all its residents so diligently so efficiently is now moving to another phase of his life and then we would like to take this opportunity to place our deep sense of gratitude to dr uma shankar and request our uh, director of our argadama dr amit to say a few words and request after that guruji to felicitate him dr amit friends originally dr uma shankar is from solapur maharashtra after his graduation after his bm sayuda graduation he came 2012 to prashanti kutila he did yic he joined the md after the completion of md in 2015 he joined aragya dham he continues his education also he did ms in counseling and psychotherapy and he is specialized trained in neuro rehabilitation from the yashwiasa he was posted to germany there is a leading hospital for neuro rehabilitation he was trained in neuro rehabilitation and we have department of neuro rehabilitation with the god grace someone has donated that department and they put on their family member name but that name was dr uma shankar neuro rehabilitation center so uma shankar has done tremendous work in arogya thama his dedication towards patient his service towards patient even in midst of shanti we have the seva vritti so 24 hours to seva he was working very soft spoken person but same time he is very sharp in skill thank you masankar i will request to guru ji to please get him for a very successful man behind there is a women so i will request here uma shankar swaip dr deepa she is also bms doctor so she is here thank you species day the vaishakha navami the sita navami also which comes exactly one month after ram navami so on this occasion our division of humanity is presenting two programs for all of you the one is the inter institute coco championship which exactly starts by 2:30 today at surbi coco ground so i request all to come and witness the exhibition of energy and athleticism by our young students and second one a dance drama by 6 o'clock again one more exhibition of swara nrutya lasya by udushi shrimati veena sheshatri so i request all to come and witness all also thank you let us conclude the session with shanti mantra om